late notice, but I'm about to do my first artist alley in five years. The last artist alley I did was Anime Expo, which was crazy, and I did okay. But uh, I haven't done this in five years, so I don't even know what I'm doing. So, uh, and I've never vlogged one of these before, so I don't know what to vlog and how to vlog. So you guys are gonna just see what I got, I guess. Basically, I'll just probably gonna be like a montage, and then at the end of it, I'll talk about how much I made, what I made, if I did good, if I did bad, and uh, you'll be, you'll be surprised. You'll be you'll be surprised. It's crazy. Maybe some voiceovers in there. Uh, see you in a minute. Ah, be that. Event t-shirts past and present are only five bucks. And you can pick them up at the table that you pass by right when you first walked in. Once again, Stockton Con Winter 2024 shirts only. We're vlogging. I want to see Tom Kenny. All right, stuck in Han. Day two. Day two. Well, day one was kind of weak. It was weird. Day one was on a Saturday. Here we are on day two. I think next time if I ever do one of these artist alley vlogs again, I'll record my time lapse of me setting up, especially doing it all alone, trying to figure everything out. But uh, I'm gonna take a walk around the artist alley so you can see all the cool artists that were there. I got to meet a ton of cool artists and uh, my neighbor was actually pretty cool too uh, on both sides and I wanted to like introduce myself to some other artists and I met a few cool ones some of them seemed like they just didn't want to talk or care to conversate with me I don't know why but uh, there was a couple of those but it happens I I, I don't want to complain maybe they're just like busy or something like that but I try to wait for everybody to finish setting up before I introduce myself to try to get to know everyone but um yeah the ones I did meet that were super cool I appreciate it you guys made my first artist alley super Super, super chill, super easy, but I guess, yeah, there's always those couple of people who are just like, don't want to talk to people or something like that. I don't know what it is, but I get it. There was even one I talked to. I talked to like a ton of artists, but one of them was just like, I could just tell he was trying to be a salesman. He was just trying to look at me at like, as like a number. He was just trying to get me to buy everything at his table. And I was just like, I was just like, man, I'm just, I'm just browsing. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make my table. I ain't trying to spend no money, but uh, yeah, that's, that's one thing I don't like about the artist alley is like a lot of people, there's people who are salesmen and there's people who are artists and 
I'm not a salesman. I want to just show my art. If people want to buy it, they want to buy it. If they don't, they don't. I don't want to like shove it down their throats and be like, oh, check out this little, check out this thing on, on my print or check out this on my stickers or whatever. Buy two, get seven free or something like that. I don't know. I can't do that. I'll put a sign up. If they ask questions, I'll enter them. But uh, I'm not, I'm more, I'm doing artist alley more for collaborations and like getting to know people, meeting people who like my art and stuff like that. I like making money from doing it, but me personally, I prefer just like going to new cities and meeting new people and people who follow me on Instagram or TikTok and they're like, are you gonna be at this con? Are you gonna be at that con? And I get to meet these people and they actually like my art. I like that part. But being a salesman, nah, that ain't, that is not me. So if you ever come to my table and you see me, I'm not gonna, I'll usually be drawing or um, talking to somebody. I'm never gonna be like wacky inflatable tube man or whatever from Family Guy. But you guys, you guys get what I'm saying. You guys get it. But there's nothing against the salesman artists. I know everybody wants to, wants to eat, but I'm just saying that's just not me. That's just, I, I can't do it. I can't. It's just like there. <laughs> oh, so yeah, it's for sale. I'm asking about $1,200 for her. My first convention back since 2018. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Didn't make no money, but it was pretty cool. Let's talk about it. All right, it's been a couple days since the convention and I don't have too many notes for you guys. I just wanted to talk a little bit about a what I made, how much I made and all that. So my table was $200 because I actually got the notification late that I made it into the artist alley or I just didn't reply to the email on time. I don't remember exactly what happened. So it was like 190 for the table, but I ended up paying 200. So my only goal was to make at least $250 to cover the table and parking, which parking was $20 each day, which is stupid. I feel like vendors should be able to should get a discount because that's what everybody else is paying is 20 and we're there for two days. Typically, people are only there for one day, but uh, that's just a, um, a little rant. But uh, yeah, my goal is 250. That's all I wanted to make. I have a lot of prints from 2018, from when I first got my iPad and I first started doing digital art. So I just wanted to get rid of those as many as I can. I was charging five dollars for a print, buy two get one free, just whatever. I just wanted them out, and I didn't really sell any prints. I sold probably like 20 prints, maybe. I don't know. I don't know exactly. I lost, I lost track because I was keeping it in my notes, and I was doing the buy one get, or buy two get one free. So I was like losing track of how many I was getting rid of. But my big thing was stickers. But I was selling stickers for three dollars. Three dollars a sticker so i had to sell a lot of stickers to make a lot of money and i sold a lot of stickers i sold out of some designs i didn't think i was going to sell out of but at the end of sunday i ended up making about 300 i think it was like 397 dollars or something like that it was almost 400 i made and um i was happy with that it was like a slow con i don't there was a lot of artists i didn't see there that i usually see at the other stockton con summer because Stockton Con Winter is like a new thing, I think. I don't remember who started it, but there used to be only one Stockton Con every year. Now there's two, plus a Lodi. So technically there's four of the same convention every year. And this was the winter version. Uh, there's a lot of artists I usually see at these conventions. I didn't see them there, so they probably knew it was like a small show. It wasn't going to do too good. But uh, yeah, I made almost $400. I only asked a couple people that I actually like talked to how they did. And everybody said they did good, but I overheard a few people around 
my area who were like packing up and they were saying they didn't make table and they barely made they barely made table both my neighbors i believe that they did good i know for a fact um the person on my right uh, they were selling books they made i think they did pretty good and i talked to another artist they said that it, it was okay it was it was expected it was i did a little bit better than i wanted to do or that i thought i was gonna do i was just hoping just to make my table and i ended up making a little bit more than that but uh I tallied it up to how much money I made. I think it was about $7 an hour is what I made for two days at the convention. My only expenses were the table. I don't count my prints because um, I've had those for years already. I was just trying to get rid of them. My stickers. So I bought one packet of sticker paper, which was like 20 bucks, I think. And I ended up using that whole pack on stickers to make stickers. So I th I'm pretty sure my... I would say my total expenses for the show was like $260, $260. I'm not counting gas because I didn't put gas and it's a close, it's a close city. I live only about 20 minutes away from the show, 20, 30 minutes. But yeah, I made almost 400 bucks, which was pretty cool. And I got a couple follows out of it. I was actually just checking my DMs right now and like four people wrote me and were asking questions about like iPads and digital art and how to get into it and all that. So that's pretty cool. And they mentioned that they were from the show and they bought stickers. So it was a pretty cool show. Um, it made me, it motivated me to get back into doing Doing artist alleys because uh, I haven't done an artist alley since 2018 I keep saying that my goal was after 2018 I was gonna take a year off or 2019 I was gonna take a year off get better at art and come back with way better prints and I got better at art way better but uh I never made a print I haven't made any prints since 2019 I wasn't planning on doing any conventions it's just I randomly applied for this one and I got in so I was like you know what I got that high I was like I want to do more so now I applied for WonderCon in LA Anaheim area uh and I got into that which is in like two weeks and I don't have anything prepared for it that's gonna be my next show hopefully hopefully I can vlog it better maybe I'll bring this camera instead of my iPhone yeah that's what I made that's what I did the show was kind of boring I couldn't really record anything I didn't know what to record so I hope you guys like it I hope this information was good for you if you want to do artist alley just do it if you're Art sucks just do it my art sucked and i did it i did anime expo and my art was trash i traveled to texas i never been on an airplane before i started doing artist alley and i'm itching for more new york is on my bucket list i want to do new york comic con or anime nyc so if you guys see me if you guys like this you guys want to see more of these i'm prepping for WonderCon right now maybe i'll put a prepping video up making all new art let's see if i can make all new art in two weeks i got a lot on my table Anyways, peace out. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a good one. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. And drop a like, follow, sub, all that. I need it. I need this to work. I'm sick of stocking formula at Walmart overnight. Alright, peace out.